Hello, my name is Deneen Parker, and I am the owner of Across the Stitch, where we specialize in custom products and embroidery. Well, I started out in 2017 with hand embroidery, specifically cross-stitching. And then I slowly transitioned to machine embroidery because cross-stitching takes a long time to do. And now I do machine embroidery for small businesses and personal designs for people. Well, I moved here November 1st, 2023. So I moved from my house into my storefront and it's great. Oh, because <laughs> I have, I was overtaking my house. I had stuff in my embroidery room, in my daughter's room, the garage, um, the hallway closet. I started to even move into the dining room. So I, I was taking over the house and had customers coming to my house, like all kind of weird hours on the weekends. And so it was time to move because it was overtaking my house. Oh, so I'm a veteran and back when I joined the military a lot, a lot of years ago, I was bored and I was like, I need to find something to do because my mother always told me the idle mind is the devil's workshop. So I said, oh, let me, let me find some kind of hobby. And so I went to, uh, I think it was called Hancock something. And so I went there and I walked around and I was like, oh, this cross stitch looks interesting. So I started doing that and then I put it down because I had a family and a career. But then when it was time for me to retire in 2017, I picked it back up again. So that's how I got into embroidery. Well, I joined the Army in 1995. So, uh, yes, you do the math on that. <laughs> I retired in 2017. So, yeah. No, I wasn't. I was just a normal kid, just wanted to play and hang out with my friends. Um, but I stayed, my mother kept me busy staying in a lot of activities. So I never really thought about having a hobby then. Oh, so currently I have a license to embroider uh, apparel for Sigma Gamma Rho and Delta Sigma Theta sororities. And so I do a lot of that um, between um, doing embroidery for small businesses, I also do that. And it's good because I don't have just one way of making the income. I have my online with the sororities and doing markets with those. And then I have my small business owners who come in. So being a small business owner, you have to have multiple streams of income to sustain yourself. If you want to start something like embroidery or a small business, being an entrepreneur, do your research. Don't just be like, oh, today I think I want to make this. No, do your research. Find your niche, what exactly you want to do, and do your research because um, I've kind of bounced around and tried different things, and I finally found exactly what I like to do. Um, and then you want to find your research because you want to know where your market is, where are people um, where your people are that you're looking for your customers, uh, what type of customers are you looking for, what do you want to do, so you're not like just wasting time and wasting money experimenting. I'm originally from Jersey City, New Jersey, and I moved to Texas via the military. Oh, <laughs> so initially it was like, oh, this is fun, okay, and then I kind of I want to say let it consume me while I was talking about it all the time. And then it was like, oh, we don't want to hear about this. But when you work, you usually talk about your work, which is my business. But now that I'm in the store, because when I was home, it was, you know, it was all clumped together. But now that I'm in the store, I think it's better because I separate the business from my, from my family, which I think is better for me. In the next five years, what I really want is to buy more machines. I have two here. I want to buy more machines, but I really want to hire people so that I can buy more machines so that they could um, run the store, help to run the store. Yeah, I really want to grow the business and hire more employees. So I have two girls, and one just graduated from college, and my other daughter, she's still in college. So the legacy I want is for my children to have an entrepreneurial spirit. I want them to be able to feel as though whatever they have set their mind to that they can do. I don't necessarily want them to 
follow in my footsteps in embroidery because that you know that's probably not what they want to do but i want them to have an entrepreneurial spirit to go out there and do the best that they can and start their own businesses This is brought to you by Kansas City Business Association, working to improve our community.